A shed without guttering is a missed opportunity to save time and effort. This video shows how to fit gutter into a shed and connect to water butts to enable harvesting of water that can be used around the garden or allotment. I installed guttering on both sides of this garden shed, connecting both gutters to a single downpipe. This required a good number of fittings, which is helpful to show the range of accessories required to do the job. After a few heavy rain showers, the guttering proved its capability, filling two 200 litre water butts within a month. The highest point on the gutter needs to have an external stop end fitted. This clips on easily to the gutter. The gutter itself is held in place by gutter fascia brackets. These are easy to screw into the wood of the shed. The brackets are best placed where the fixing screws can screw into the wooden support patterns of the shed structure. Look out for the vertical lines of nails. Inside the shed, you will see these line up with the battens. The gutter needs to have a slight downward slope or fall towards the downpipe. About a one centimetre drop is sufficient on a standard size garden shed roof. A taut string can help with lining up the brackets. Once the brackets are in place, the guttering can be clipped into place. Use a gutter union to connect two pieces of gutter together. To prevent sagging or leaks, use gutter brackets either side of the union to ensure a good stable join. As you work, check the levels with the spirit level. If the bubble of the spirit level is touching the higher black line, the drop will be fine. At the lower end of the gutter, use a gutter stop end outlet. A downpipe can be connected to this by simply pushing it on. On this project, I wanted to turn a corner with the downpipe to connect to the gutter downpipe on the other side of the shed. To do this I used two types of offset bends, one slightly over 90 degrees to help create a fall and another at 90 degrees to turn a corner. These can be pushed into each other. The downpipe can easily be cut to length using a handsaw. If you need to extend the length of a downpipe you can use a downpipe pipe socket another push fit fitting. The downpipe needs to be fixed in place to avoid any movement. Downpipe pipe clips are very easy to fit, wrapped snugly around the pipe and can be screwed into place. I connected two downpipes together to harvest water from both sides of the shed into water butts. To do this I needed a downpipe branch connector plus some more offset bends to turn the corner. To channel water into a water butt, a good way of doing this is using a rainwater diverter. A diverter channels rainwater into a water butt until the butt is full, and after it is full, diverts water back down the downpipe. A connecting hose runs from the diverter to the water butt, and it is possible to daisy chain water butts together using more hose for extra water storage. For the diverter to work properly, it is important to fit it at the correct height. This is lower than the top of the water butt, but higher than the inlet into the butt itself, to ensure that there is a downward fall from the diverter to the butt. At the end of the downpipe near the ground, fit a downpipe shoe to channel any excess water away from the base of the shed to prevent any problems with damp. If any of the connections are loose, duct tape can be an excellent way of stiffening the joint. Simply wrap around the connection. Once you have checked all the levels and connections, a simple test is to pour some water into the highest point of the gutter to check for any leaks. The best test of all is a heavy rainstorm. If water flows into your water butts, you know the job is good. The result is 400 litres of free water to use around your garden. Please like our video or subscribe to our channel.